local hero Jared Kalik must impress tonight against Enia Julio. He set up a dramatic career defining year. Um, I've had most of my fighters hurt, most of my opponents hurt, and uh, stopped a lot of opponents. Uh, um, and, and I think I could do it again. Hair losing his long unbeaten record recently, and Neil Sinclair's ring future in doubt. Kalik leads the way in Britain at welterweight. I think I've, I've been number one for a while, and uh, there's always going to be people saying no, so and so is number one, and so and so is number one, and everyone's got their own favourites. But I think I'm a little bit ahead now. I'm uh, looking for bigger things, really. The world stage beckons, and with Corey Spinks the latest quick succession of champions, there won't be a better time for Khalid to make his move. Every fighter wants to test themselves, and every fighter wants to fight for one of the one of the major world titles, and that's that's what I want to do. And the Nottingham cab drivers always responded admirably to a challenge. With the highlight, the up and down thriller with Jan Bergman in South Africa. Joey Kalik has the win for his boxing life. That brought the best out of me. Um, um, territory, I was up again, again, fighting a very good fighter, and uh, they didn't give me the chance to win. And uh, now I don't it, and proved a lot of people wrong again. And Team Kalik take the threat of Julio very seriously. After all, the Colombian's a former WBO champion, is known for his durability, and looks a quality test. I'd like to see Ian Hulia get stopped for the first half, and then that will be a good performance. Anything less than a stoppage, I don't think Jav's really proven everything. Jav Kalik's going to win, whether it be by stoppage or points. Barry, is it true that the better the opposition, the better Kalik performs? Undoubtedly. We've seen it so many times before. He's been in up and downers, he's pulled, out, pulled it out of the bag every single time. Every time we write him off, he comes back and proves us wrong. Uh, he done it in his most recent performance against Jan Bergman, a fantastic performance in South Africa. I really thought he was coming close to the end, and uh, we all sort of wrote him off slightly. What an up and a downer this was, but Kalik, at the age of 33, Barry, is it a little late to try to launch yourself against the best in the world? Or has he aged well? Well, I think he has aged well, and although he's been down several times and he's had some tough battles, he hasn't, you know, as we see it here, this is one of a couple of knockdowns he's had, you know, he always seems to come back, he's relatively fresh, and, um, you know, he comes back and, and produces good performances. How long he can keep doing that for is the question, and of course, in, in our huge is not exactly um, a light puncher, he's a big puncher, former light welterweight champion. And this is a really tough battle he's got in his hands tonight. This win over Bergman yeah. did, did collect plenty of interest around yeah. the world. Some surprise, it must be said. Another win like this one tonight, yeah. Barry, yeah. against Leo. Yeah. Yeah. Would that truly for you put ah, Kalik in, in the mix? I think that puts him on, on a higher pedestal and a chance to go in there and call out the likes of um, you know, Corey Spinks, Antonio Margarita. He's certainly capable of fighting for the world title. Whether he gets a chance or not is another question. Of course, he's got to win tonight. It's a very tough battle he's got in his hands. He's given up plenty, hasn't he? Forced to give up all sorts of home pleasures, as we've seen, Joed Kalik, giving his missus the elbow for the weekend. Is someone going to pay here? It's Valentine's Day, and it's going to be heartbreak for Julio. <laughs> on Citroen cars until March 31st, everything else can wait.
fantastic. He's not playing games, is he? What time's bingo, ma'am? Carry on. The ING Direct Savings Account gives everyone the high rate of 4.3%. There are no fees or penalties. That's why we're the world's leading direct savings bank. Call now or go online and you can get started with just a pound. ING Direct. It's your money we're saving. Come play in Alberta, Canada, home of the Canadian Rockies. Alberta, imagine the possibilities. Call for your free holiday guide. Canada, discover our true nature. Visit Alberta. Start at 989 pounds per person. Call 0870-727-6919 for your holiday guide courtesy of Canada and Travel Pass. A superb international football coming up next week. Tuesday night, we get underway with number 21 against Holland. That's from 7.30 on Sky Sports 1. And we have to line up with Republic of Ireland in Brazil, live from 7 on Sky Sports 1. Portugal against England is live from 8 on Sky Sports 2. Live in Nottingham tonight as Jawade Kleek defends his title for the seventh time. He wants bigger prizes, but first he must meet and beat a man who is proven in world class. Our MC, John MacDonald. gentlemen it's the fight of the night the main event please welcome to the ring now the challenger Inya Julio. Inya Julio the former WBO light welterweight champion of the world that's one weight down this he's from Colombia he's very proud of his nation so much so that he comes to the ring to the sound of his national anthem. Julio arrived for this fight last Monday, giving himself plenty of time to get over the jet lag. It has looked as if he's faded a little bit since uh, an eye operation back in 2001. Only a couple of wins over journeymen since then. But he's mixed with some good fighters, this fellow. He obviously had class as a light world away. He has to be a threat if he's back to anything like his best. Yes, he does, Ian. And he will see this as a way back to his best, a way back to a, a big chance. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring the champion from Nottingham, Jawey Good support as ever for Kalik in his home city of Nottingham. No doubt about it, he's our top welterweight. Quite beyond argument now after the recent defeat of James Hare and the disappearance from the scene of Neil Sinclair. But I think the question with Kalik is not only does he have to win this, he's 33 now, he has to make the big move into world class this year, doesn't he? Real world class. He does, yeah, and that's what he said he wants to do, and you know, we want his promoters to push him because he deserves the chance to mix with the very best. He's a good fighter, he's got facts of heart, he's proved that, and he, he's better with a better opponent. So it's time to put him in there and let's see what he can do on the real world stage. As it is, this is his uh, seventh defense of his IBO championship at ten and a half stone. Tail of the take for the fight tonight. Kalik looks fresher and younger, but he is, in fact, three years older at 33. Julio's a little bit taller, has the uh, minute reach advantage, both inside the ten and a half stone limit eventually, though Kalik was uh, initially 12. professional 
I'd agree with him. Julio's been a professional now for 10 years. Kalik for seven. The Colombians have more fights and at a better level as well, significantly. But Kalik should have the extra power, you'd think, at this weight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event, the fight of the night. John Shepard for Ringside Boxing Promotions in association with Prince Promotions and Matchroom Sport proudly present 12 rounds of boxing for the IBO Welterweight Championship of the World. Sponsored by PokerMillion.com for a great game of online poker. And a very warm welcome to our viewers joining us live here on Sky Sports. It's Saturday Fight Night, and you've joined us for the very best ringside seat in the business. Would you also welcome our viewers joining us here in Poland? Dobrowiecio Witami, Telewizu, Telewize, TVN. Ladies and gentlemen, all the officials have been appointed by the IBO President Ed Levine of Coral Gables, Florida. He has appointed fight supervisor Frank Brunette of the USA. Our timekeeper at ringside, appointed by the British Boxing Border Control, is Mr. Harry Foxall. Our three scoring judges from England, John Coyle, from the USA, David Hess, and from the USA, Clark Sarmian. Our referee in charge of the action from London, England, is Mr. Marcus McDonald. They are the officials, and here are the contestants. Firstly, introducing to you the challenger. He's fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the blue trunks trimmed with yellow and red. Weighing in. 10 stone, 6 pounds, 13 ounces, 31 fight record, 25 wins, 18 inside the scheduled distance, 5 losses and 1 draw. He's the former IPO and WBO light welterweight champion of the world from Barranquilla, Colombia. It's And now, ladies and gentlemen, the champion. He's fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks trimmed with yellow. Weighing in at 10 stone, 6 pounds, 7 ounces. He brings a 24-fight record, 22 wins, 13 inside the scheduled distance. One loss, one draw. He makes his seventh defense. He is the reigning and defending IBO welterweight champion of the world. Let's get the action underway. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBO Welterweight Championship of the World. Right, lads, I expect you both in the dressing room, you know what I expect. I expect you act like professionals at all times obey my instructions. That means watch your heads, keep all your punches up. Do you understand me, lads? Do you understand? Do you understand? Good luck, you both, Let's go to work. St. Valentine's Day, a famous day in fight history 53 years ago today. Sugar Ray Robinson beat Jake LaMotta at Chicago Stadium in the fight they called the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. And I tell you what, it nearly was as well. Here's Jab Kalik then, 33 years.